Hey, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So in about two months' time, give or take, we are expecting our next annual feature update to roll out for Windows 11, which will be version 24H2. And believe it or not, yesterday on the 17th of July, Microsoft has finally announced that Windows 11 version 23H2, which is also known as the 2023 update, which was last year's annual feature update, is now broadly available to all users with eligible devices. So in true Microsoft fashion, better late than never. Now, my reason uh, for posting this video is because I have seen one or two comments on the channel that um, some viewers of this channel, uh, give or take a year or so after 23H2 rolled out, still haven't received the update. And that could be due to a whole lot of different reasons, um, compatibility issues and so on. So Microsoft blocks the update. So better late than never, um, Microsoft says eligible Windows 11 Home and Pro devices that are not managed by IT departments will be automatically updated to version 23H2 when they reach or approach end of servicing. And that's an important bit because I've posted that version 22H2 will be reaching its uh, end of servicing and end of support on the 8th of October this year. So as we get closer to that date and also when that date is reached, uh, if you haven't updated to 23H2, that's going to be automatically updating you to the feature update. So just take note of that. That's a, a bit of important information. Now, um, if you haven't seen the update yet, if you are still running version 22H2, um, obviously what I would suggest is just head over to your Windows update and start seeking and checking for the update um, because Microsoft says um, this will then force the update onto your system. And then obviously you can kind of control the update and install it yourself without Microsoft um, force installing it um, at a later stage. So you can do it um, because feature updates um, are optional until obviously that end of servicing date is reached. So you can kind of use a more controlled environment to install it when you have obviously the time and it won't, you know, just be an automatic update. So just bringing that to your attention. And just on a quick side note, if you don't know what version of Windows 11 you are on, you just head over to your search, you type in WinVer, which is the About Windows dialog and menu. And if you head over to this menu, you will see the version. And I am on version 23H2, which obviously is the current stable release. And obviously, if you see 22H2, this will be affecting you. So um, end of service in date, 8th of October your device will be automatically updated. And if you haven't seen the update, go check for it in Windows Update. And Microsoft says that is now broadly available to all users with eligible devices. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.